Hello there folks, it's Jared here. I thought I'd give a little tour of the Sam Wanamaker Playhouse, which is on the site of the Globe Theatre, on the South Bank in London. It's a theatre that's actually closed at the moment. It opens in the winter, or around October time. The Globe, the large outdoor space, is the theatre open at the moment. So they have workshops in the SWP, as I'll refer to it from now on. And every now and then you might have an evening recital. But really, it's October to March that the indoor theatre opens. It's only 12 years old, the indoor theatre. The Globe itself, which Sam Wanamaker had the idea to rebuild in the 1950s, is 26 years old. And the shell of this building had been built at the same time. But it was only 12 years ago that they had the money to restore it to what they think an indoor theatre looked like in Shakespeare's time. Imagine we're living in the year 1599. The Globe Theatre opens on the South Bank outside London. This area used to be Surrey and it held 3,000 people. It was open air. The plays were on at two o'clock in the afternoon. Every social group went to the Globe Theatre. Shakespeare wrote many of his greatest plays. Macbeth, Hamlet, Henry V, Antony and Cleopatra, all for the Globe, outdoors. But there were indoor playhouses. We say the word theatre now. Theatre is from the old Latin word theatrum, place for viewing. These were called playhouses. The indoor playhouses would really cater for richer, certainly. They were up to ten times more expensive to enter. Educated. You had to have money to have an education back then. And also aristocracy. So the first thing about indoor and outdoor is in the outdoor theatres, the plays seemed to cater to more people. There was a larger audience of 3,000 as opposed to around 300 here. And the music was louder, a lot of brass, a lot of percussion. There was a lot more fighting and dancing because the stage area was bigger. And the plays were on in the afternoons in a vast space. So people are generally louder outdoors. These indoor theatres, tiny buildings with roofs that this one holds 340. The original probably held even fewer than that. You could whisper and everyone could hear you. There's a roof to the Sam Wanamaker Playhouse, which means that candlelight was lighting the stage. Already that means you're spending more money. There wasn't much in the way of set, scenery, decoration, as we would call it, in Shakespeare's time, because local people were going to these theatres. Three or four times a week, often you would go and expect a play to take you away from your own problems. Often Shakespeare's plays in particular are set in other countries. What he wanted to do, ideally, was talk freely about the tragedies, the social issues, the romances, the conspiracies, the rumours of London. But if he set the play primarily in London, He's running the risk of upsetting the authorities. So, for instance, a play like The Merchant of Venice does discuss anti-Semitism in London. But the play is set in Venice, giving the public the chance to do some work for themselves. We're going down some of the side corridors, some very dark rooms that I don't normally go into. I'm trying to find my way to the upper gallery. 
doesn't look like this is the upper gallery. This is one of the crew rooms. Never actually been in this door before. So we're actually in above the stage. We need to find a light switch. Because it's pitch dark in here. Can we, there we go. So this is one of the crew rooms. Of course, there's not much lighting and sound apart from candlelight. Today. But you still need health and safety. You need tannoy calls, maybe for the public, to make their way back to their seats. And there are dressing rooms. Not everyone is just waiting behind the stage for their cue, for their call to go on stage. So there are electrics, there is sound and lighting, but it's all backstage behind the scenes, relaying calls to dressing rooms and different departments. So we're just having a walk around the bowels, the side doors of the San Wanamaker Playhouse. In 1608, the Blackfriars Theatre opened on the North Bank, just outside the city walls, near Blackfriars Bridge today. And we know that Shakespeare's acting company, the King's Men, as they were known, did perform indoors and outdoors. Shakespeare's later plays, a lot more of them are introspective. The speeches are more philosophical. The themes are more educated themes. Astronomy, philosophy, Greek and Latin. And these types of buildings would cater to the rich. We're now in the Musicians' Gallery. 340 seats and a standing area around the back at the top. The seated area at the front, these benches here, they called these benches stalls. So when we talk about the West End Theatre and you're sat in what some people call the orchestra seats, we call them in the UK the stalls. It was because of the benches, not because there were market stalls. Actors were all male. Boys of about 13, 14 would play the female roles. But we do now have evidence, academics have found this out, we believe that Italian and Spanish women did act in the courts and the palaces and possibly some of these indoor playhouses in Shakespeare's time. And some academics now believe that English women did act at places like the Globe, but in non-speaking roles. In this country, Men and boys were the ones who could read and write. If you could read and write and you were a woman, well, you wouldn't have gone to school. You would have been homeschooled. So the chances of you being able to read or indeed memorise parts were nigh on impossible unless the play, the text, was dictated to you. The globe itself burned down in 1613. So Shakespeare, the acting company, moved indoors to the other side of the river, almost primarily. But the next year, the second globe opened. The second globe was demolished by the Puritans in 1644. There was a period of about 18 years in this country where fun was essentially banned. And these types of indoor theatres were eventually recommissioned by Charles II. But he didn't put them in this area on the South Bank. The South Bank had become agricultural land. Charles II wanted theatres more or less where he lived, where rich people lived, in what we now call the West End. Now the South Bank is a thriving area. And on this site at Shakespeare's Globe, you have the outdoor theatre, between March and October, and the wonderful building we're looking at now, the Sam Wanamaker Playhouse, built in Sam's honour 
from October to March every year. Do join me again on intermission tours and thank you so much for everything.